What's up, guys? Welcome to another epic episode of J Philly Retro, guys. Thank you for joining me today for another freaking awesome toy hunt video. Guys, today we're out and about. We're going to do some toy hunting, a little bit of thrifting, a little bit of retail today. We do have to go to Walmart today, so we're going to get a little bit of a retail hunt in today. Uh, but first, we are in Royersford, Pennsylvania. Kind of quiet this morning in Royersford. Uh, it's probably because it's hotter than the devil's crotch out right now. Uh, it's uh, it's freaking, I think at 90, I think at 9 o'clock this morning, it was like, feels like 98 degrees out. So uh, it's it's pretty friggin' warm out right now. But we're in Royersford. We're getting ready to go into open door thrift. We haven't been in there in about a month or so. Uh, let's go see what they have on the shelves. Hopefully something good. Hopefully something awesome, maybe some vintage, maybe something cool. I don't know. Let's go see. All right, guys. Like we said, first up, Open Door Ministry. Look at that flag waving us. Welcome. Come in. Buy all my toys. I think I will. All right, guys. Well, right off the bat, we're going to look at their... Uh, their video game section. This is right here by the front door. So we always look at this first. Um, I'm not really seeing a whole lot that I am interested in. Um, mostly PS3 games are sports. Uh, mostly PS2 games are sports. <laughs> um, but they do have a couple cool toys here. Looks like they got uh, that Batmobile thing right there is cool. Looks like some, maybe some Batman Weebles or something. That looks kind of older. But, uh, yeah, not a whole lot as far as video games go. Got a big old thing of plush here that I don't really feel like digging through. I don't really see anything that I'm interested in right away, though. Uh, let's check out their toy section. Oh, there's more plush over here. Hershey's Kiss. Yeah, I'm not really seeing too much over here. Um, oh, look at this. They got these freaking creepy dolls still. Look at that. Holy crap. Tell me that girl's not ready to kill you in your sleep. I, uh, I would never come into this place after dark. These things would probably follow me home. Yeah, they do have lots of, uh, lots of girl toys here. I always get a few people that ask me, how come you don't look at the girl toys? You know, I do. I do sometimes. Nothing really in here that I'm interested in, though. Um, you know, I look at the girl toys when I see something maybe that I could, could resell. Obviously, I don't really collect them for myself, but, oh, uh, look at that. A little troll with boots on. <laughs> um, I don't really collect too many, you know, what they, what you would consider girl toys for myself. But, uh, you know, plush every now and then. But, yeah, nothing in there I really want. Um, looks like a lot of Barbies. Maybe like some PVC Care Bears or something I would pick up, but don't really find that kind of stuff too often. Um, you know, Care Bears or Rainbow Bright or something like that. But, yeah, nothing in there for me today. Uh, I've got some play sets down here. Got some bags of, uh, I was going to say it looks like uh, Playmobil right there, but I'm not sure what this other stuff is. Uh, let's see. What's this? Uh, I don't know who that guy is. check on that well they also got tons of looks like nerf guns in here um what's this oh maybe a uh a minecraft bow and arrow or something steven might like that he likes minecraft but i'm not buying it for him <laughs> um some play sets little people oh they got a big old a big old t-rex up here that's kind of cool doesn't want to stand up got pizza planet playset that's cool got a knockoff crash test dummies <laughs> this is from smart lab 
Hmm. An Ernie and a wrecking ball. Buddy L. Look at that. That looks old. Um, what else is down here? Hmm. Uh, not a whole lot, guys. Oh, I think this was here last time. This AFI plane. Uh, I got some play sets up here. Hmm. Well, let me look through these bins here real quick and see what I can find, if anything. See if there's anything cool here. This is why I like this store, 50 cents. I'm not interested in that, but you know, for 50 cents. It's like a Beyblades arena. Lots of frogs. Uh, let's look and see. Jitsu guy that was here last time. Some kind of weird Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I'm going to keep looking through these bins, guys. I'll let you know if I find anything cool. Well, guys, I did find a few action figures. In this bin right here, I found a, uh, a Drax, just kind of a cheapy, cheapy Drax. Um, they have this bag here. I'm not sure what these guys are right here. That guy looks pretty cool, though. Um, I got this little guy in here. It's got a Transformer in here, I think. I think that's a Transformer. Yeah, there's some kind of a Transformer there. A rescue heroes guy. Got another rescue heroes here. Got a Wonder Woman. And I think I might pick this up. It's a bag with a Kylo Ren Black Series. I want three bucks for it. So I might grab that. Well, let's take a look. See what they got for board games and puzzles back here. Um, I don't know. Lion King game. Anything that I'm interested in? There's a Jeopardy down there. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like too much today. What's this? Uh, red Solo Cup game? Or just Red Solo Cups? <laughs> Pong game. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have too much back here. Guys, this store is honestly one of my favorite stores to look for DVDs and VHS at because of their pricing. It's just so great. Look at this. For VHS, $1 or $1 fill a bag or 10 cents each. Um, and then DVDs, $2 each or $12 for fill a bag. Like, I mean, look at that. I mean, you could just spend hours looking through here and that's not all they've also got <laughs> all of these the only problem is they don't have too many vhs right now i was just looking it's mostly all dvds and unfortunately it's so freaking hot outside that i don't want to sit here for an hour looking through dvds while it's getting hotter and hotter out there so uh i'm going to give it a quick glance over See if there's anything I need, and uh, I'll let you know. Oh, guys, I am seeing some pretty cool things here, like this Led Zeppelin in concert and beyond. This is pretty cool. It comes in one of these old school snapper cases. Uh, that's pretty cool. The disc is kind of scratched on this though, so I think I'm gonna pass on it. A um, couple other things I saw that I'm gonna pass on, but I think they're cool. Is this Saw Eight film collection? Um, yeah, I'm not really into this kind of, like, gory horror film, so Steven is, but I'm not. I'm going to pass on that, though. It's kind of cool. 
Uh, this was pretty cool. This eight movie collection, Friday the 13th. Um, I think, I don't know. I think there's, I think it's missing a disc though. I think I checked and it's missing a disc. So I'm probably going to pass on that, unfortunately. Uh, this is really cool. This is a Born Classified, oops, sorry, I'm not even showing you guys. A Born Classified collection. And it's got all of the uh, Born Identity, Supremacy, Ultimatum, Born Legacy, and then Jason Born. This is a Blu-ray set. I already have all of these on Blu-ray, but it would be kind of cool to have them all in this one bundle so i'm contemplating that i don't know yet um, i have them all on blu-ray already though and then i also found this that i think i'm going to pick up the alien quadrilogy the only one i have right now is alien the first one um so i think i'm going to get these the discs are pretty good condition uh so yeah i think i might pick that up all right guys so that was uh open door thrift in royers for it i'm trying to open this here ah uh. <laughs> Grab me a sun-kissed watermelon lemonade. I'm going to try this out for the first time. I don't know if you guys have tried this before, but uh, taste test review right now on J Philly Retro. Sun-kissed watermelon lemonade. Here we go. Let's try it. I actually bought this inside the thrift store. They have a little cooler in there. It's pretty good. Sun-kissed watermelon lemonade. Highly recommend especially on a hot day like today. Anyway, that was Liberty, th no, that was not Liberty Thrift. That was Open Door Ministries Thrift today, guys. Um, not a whole lot in there as far as toys. It's always, always, always hit or miss when it comes to toys in there. I did find and purchase that bag with the Kylo Ren. I'll show you that in a second. Black Series figure for five bucks, plus a, like several um, Hot Wheels Star Wars um, ships. So that's a pretty good deal for five or for three bucks. Um, anyway, let me show you what I got instead of talking about it. Go get you a case of this if you like sun-kissed watermelon lemonade. Extra good. Let's take a look at what I got. So guys, like I said, I picked up this bag for $3. Uh, it does have, I'm going to try to do this without dropping the bag. Uh, it does have some Hot Wheels uh, Star Wars ships inside. I have a couple of these TIE Fighters already in my collection on my shelves and it's going to be a pain in the butt there we go this is cool i think this is anakin starfighter it's kind of scratched up a little bit looks like but still cool i'll put it on my shelf for sure uh that's pretty awesome um but the main reason i got this was for uh let's see was for this the uh kylo ren black series figure he doesn't have his lightsaber, but I think I have some extra lightsabers at home. Um, I don't have this one in my Black Series collection yet, so definitely happy to find that. At first, I thought he was missing a hand, but then I realized it was just turned backwards. So, yeah, definitely. Whoa, his foot. <laughs> You're going to need some uh, surgery on that. Um, definitely happy to have found this in that bag for three bucks. Uh, like I said, there's some TIE Fighters in there. Um, yeah, looks like one, two, three different TIE Fighters, and then that, uh, that Starship. So, yeah, pretty cool find. And then, like I showed you guys in the store, I did pick up this Alien Quadrilogy. Uh, it's got Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. Pretty freaking cool. I did not own these. I think I only have Alien on DVD. I don't have any of them on Blu-ray or anything, so... Um, you know, until I can upgrade to Blu-ray or whatever, this will be a pretty cool addition to my collection. $2 is all this was for four movies, so I figured why the heck not. So guys, that's what was in my uh, Open Door Ministries thrift today. Uh, cool store. I, I do enjoy going to that store. They have, um, I mean, even though a lot of times their toy section is very, very hit or miss, like I said, that DVD and movie section, uh, VHS, a lot of times they have quite a good VHS selection. They just didn't have many today. Uh, but we're definitely going to have to go back up there when uh, we have a little bit of time to sit and go through those DVDs. $12 for a bag of movies is not a bad deal at all. So I definitely want to do that with you guys here coming up soon. Um, but for today, um, I did already go to Walmart and came home. 
I decided not to film in there because there's nothing new in Walmart. Uh, you guys can watch a hundred different videos today and see all the Walmarts you want to see um, without me showing you what's in my local Walmart. There's, there's nothing good. I hate Walmart. Um, but, uh, so yeah, we're gonna end the video here. I do want to stick another clip in real quick from last week. Uh, my parents sent me a box, and my wife and I filmed a really quick little clip of some WWE toys, um, that we thought were pretty cool. Check this out. They're kind of cute. They are cute. Alright, guys. So we're just, uh, going through. My parents sent me another box full of stuff. This is just, like, one bag of stuff. I didn't show you guys everything that was in the box this time, because... You know, I just didn't want to make a video of just going through a box of stuff, but we got this whole box full of wrestling <laughs> figures. They're oh, wait, cool. wait. Uh, John Cena has a twin, so. Yeah, we got two, you know, two John we Cenas. Got doppelgangers. And. And a Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. <laughs> who's like teeny weeny. Well, he is teeny weeny. He is teeny weeny, I know. Then we got but some tables. Like, they tried to. Yeah, The Undertaker. They tried to make him. And a Hornswoggle. <laughs> and a Ray. Here we go. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Right. I like the Rey Mysterio. Yeah. We can... Oh my gosh. Rey Mysterio is not much Triple bigger H. than Hornswoggle. <laughs> no, he's really not. And then we got a chair and a little table. Yeah. Like a breakable table that you can crash through. <laughs> like this. Yeah, like that. She just put CM Punk through a table. Because I don't like him. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought these were probably one of the most <laughs> interesting cute. things that... Uh, that they sent. I thought and I would And then you put the table back together and do it again. Yeah. Oh, looky. Seamus. Seamus threw a table. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, we're so weird. <laughs> these are kind of cool, too. These little... Uh, yeah, I like chips. Game chips. Yeah. The, the game rules. Yeah. Anyway. So, anyway. I just thought I'd share with you guys. I'm still... I'm going through stuff that they... That they sent. So, uh... I just thought this was fun. I thought you guys might like to see this. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this was a short video, just one stop today, but thank you for watching. It's way too hot out there today for me to keep going. Um, if you haven't already, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this type of video. Thrift stores, flea markets, antique stores, yard sales, um, you know, we'll get to them all. If you like vintage toys and you like thrift stores and those kind of things, be sure to tell your friends about me. Be sure to subscribe, turn the notification bell on, and keep rolling with us. I'll talk to you guys later on. Have a good weekend. Later.